Hey there, and welcome back. Uh, once again, I'm Carl with Targets with Attitude. <clears throat> and I hadn't really meant to do this, this video. Um, I figured my video on House Bill uh, 8058 was enough. But now we have a new one that's just recently been introduced. House Bill H.R. 5103, which is titled Gun Violence Protection and Safe Communities Act of 2018. Uh, the thing I've got, I this is another one that I'm not quite sure I understand. Uh, they're proposing to decrease gun violence by putting a tax of 20% on all pistols, revolvers, firearms other than pistols and revolvers, and um, <clears throat> any lower frame or receiver for a firearm, whether for a semi-automatic pistol, rifle, or shotgun, that is designed to accommodate interchangeable upper receivers. And as if that's not bad enough, it then goes on to say that all shells and cartridges, in other words, all ammunition, <clears throat> will be subject to a 50% tax. What? Okay. Um, it does go on and specify where the money is going, raised by these taxes are going to be going. And i got to admit, uh, some of them are a good thing. Uh, for instance... Uh, let's see here. Thirty-five percent of all money raised by this this will be uh, made f available for community-oriented policing services for the hiring and rehiring of additional career law enforcement officers. Um, states using funds for school resources officers, and it will also be available for training, protection, and monitoring to sure that school resource officers are used to improve schools' safeties and promote positive reform in student suspensions, expulsions, and referrals to the juvenile or criminal justice system. Okay, that is a good thing, I will admit. 35% uh, of these amounts will be available for the Project Safe Neighborhoods program as authorized by the Consolidated Appropriation Act of 2017. I'm not 100% sure what that project is. I'm going to have to look it up. Uh, just from the name, it's probably a good thing. So, yeah, these taxes are going to be funding excellent programs. I can't complain about that. But, um, excuse me, 50% tax on all ammunition. <sighs> okay, yeah. Let's see here, we go to, let's take a look at 9mm ammo, since that is probably the most popular handgun caliber out there right now. And we'll go with Remington, because everyone knows Remington. The current price of Remington uh, ammunition, target ammunition, be specific, not the hollow point self-protection type rounds, but the fully jacketed metal rounds that are designed to be taken to the range and shot to practice your target practice is currently thirteen ninety nine a box. Um, that means that once this tax goes in, in uh, place, that price is going to jump to. Now, 14 plus 7 is $21. $21 a box. Um, let's say we're going to look at some other type of ammunition. Um, instead of the 9mm, let's look at... Uh, Oh, let's say uh, 45. 
because a lot of people really like 45s. And once again, just to uh, cherry pick a uh, ammo that everyone's heard of, not necessarily, well, um, I want to say the Armory doesn't sell 45 f made by Remington. However, everyone's heard of Federal, so let's take a look at that. And they've got 14 different boxes. Um, the most common used would be American Eagle, box of 50 rounds of target ammo. Again, the stuff designed to take to the range and target practice with so that you can be sure of hitting what you're actually shooting at is $20.99 a box. So we're looking at $31 a box after this tax is enacted. And you still have to pay sales tax on top of that as well. Okay. Let me be blunt here, people. The money may be going for good projects. But taxing all ammo I'm sorry if uh, target ammo full metal jacket as it's called it, it's not an appropriate uh, round to defend yourself with it's uh, it's basically designed to blow holes in paper targets nothing more nothing less you sure wouldn't want to use it for self-defense you sure wouldn't want to use it to go hunting with and at these new prices, someone like myself who, well, I mean, I do compete. I'm not good enough to get a corporate sponsor, so I have to pay for my own ammo. I have to pay for my own firearms. It's all coming out of my pocket. Um, at these new prices... I can't afford to practice. If I can't afford to practice, I may as well give up competing. Unless, of course, I can somehow convince some local company to sponsor me. And that's not likely going to happen. I'm sure not going to get someone like uh, Palmetto State Armory or Cabela's or Bassmaster Pro or Academy Sports to sponsor me. They're only going to be interested in sponsoring someone who's good enough to compete on a national level. And I'm not that good. And at these new prices, I'm never going to get that good. But let's say, okay, let's go f something else. Uh, instead of handgun ammunition, let's look at hunting ammunition. Say you're going to go for, um, well, Two most common uh, calibers for hunting right now are 30 out 6 and 308. So let's take a look at 30 out 6. And I'm going to buy one box of uh, ammunition to go hunting with. And let's say I go for. One that's decent, but not super special and not super expensive. We'll go for a box of Winchester, 30-06. I will get 20 rounds of ammo. Currently, I'm paying $22.99. Call it $23. That means after this tax goes into effect... My price, if I'm going to go hunting, just jumped from $23 to $35. And that's if I only go hunting once or twice a season. If I go hunting four or five times, I'm starting to pay out some serious bucks to go hunting. Um, and let's be honest. 90% uh, of the violence out there 
is not being done by a gun shooting 30 out sixes. It's not going. It's not done by people shooting uh, nine millimeters. Uh, um, the ones everyone is really upset about is uh, the so-called assault weapons <clears throat> and their ammunition is a little bit more expensive already as it is. If I go to uh, 308 instead of 30 out 6, um, prices are about the same. Um, well, yeah. Of course, if I go for one of the top rated and uh, hunting ammos out there, uh, well, let's see here. Here is the uh, Federal 308 Burger jug Juggernaut, which is generally considered one of the better hunting ammos out there. That's $28 a box for 20 rounds. So now all of a sudden we're looking at $42 a box so I can go hunting. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it, it's... I don't understand, okay? Look, yes, these programs are great things. They deserve to be funded. But putting a tax on my hunting ammo or on my target ammo that is never made for anything but shooting holes in paper why are we using a shotgun approach we need to do something about uh, all the gun violence in America fine I can accept that we have to do something I'm still convinced that most of what we need to do is dealing with people's attitudes and all the problems they're having I mean okay this sounds cliche but when I was in high school every pickup truck in that high school parking lot had a rifle rack in the back of it and during hunting season there were rifles in every single one of those hunting Rifle racks. And our principal didn't freak out. He didn't call the cops. No, more often he went out and talked to the various kids about what rifle they were using and occasionally showed them what rifle he was using. And there weren't mass shootings like there are today. And what shootings there were got downplayed. No one reported them. They, No one played them up to... Uh, make it sound like the cool way to get attention or the cool way to uh, get even with bullies and yes there are some real bullies out there um, I won't deny that and some of these kids were badly bullied um, the fact is that yes there were shootings but they were far and few and no one heard about them and everyone was had rifles in their pickup trucks during hunting season in the school parking lot we didn't have school lockdowns over it we didn't have SWAT teams defend sending on the schools we didn't have high body counts What changed? When I was in junior high, um, back in Kentucky, every year, the seventh grade classes had someone from the local police department come in and talk to all students, everyone, boys and girls, both the kids who hunted with their parents and those who never hunted at all. Everyone got to talk to about gun safety. No, we didn't go out to the range 
things under their supervision and actually practice it. But we watch videos about it. We learned how to make sure the gun was unsafe. We learned how to check to see if the gun was loaded. We learned to check to see if it was loaded the minute we picked up the firearm, even if we had seen someone else unload it already. We got a complete course on gun safety. My daughter, who recently graduated high school, never had a single course on gun safety taught to her by anyone except me and her grandpa. If anyone had suggested that they do that, people would have been freaking out. Not so much here as in other parts of the country because we've got a lot of hunters around here and a lot of people who support the Second Amendment um, or at least claim they do. Um, but yeah, it's... And slapping a 20% tax on all firearms. Okay, if you were just putting 20% tax on assault weapons, so-called assault weapons, the AR-15s, the AK-47s that the media is so upset and so focused on, then I could believe you. But 20% tax on all firearms? And a 50% tax on all ammunition? The only thing that makes sense, the only logical reason you could be doing that is that you're trying to make it too expensive for me to shoot or for me to go hunting. You're trying to backdoor your way into taking away my guns or at least rendering them mute, moot because I can't afford to shoot them. If there's another logical reason for doing it this way, I can't see it. And you're going to have a hard time convincing me that there is. So, yeah. I'm sorry, once again. This is a bill that just goes too far. And what's worse is it's doing exactly what people like my wife and my daughter and my sister-in-law keep telling me that liberals don't want to do. No, liberals like my wife and my daughter and my sister-in-law love shooting. They don't want to take away all guns. But whoever wrote this bill, it's pretty obvious they do. It's very obvious they do. Think about it. Convince me I'm wrong if you can. I don't think you're going to be able to. But in the meantime, I've got to get my son to bed, get things ready for the morning, so I wish you luck. You take care of yourself. And remember, if you want to do something, no matter how small, it's worth doing it all. Do it with attitude. See ya.